A three-month salary dock will be Defence Minister Nosibia Mapisa Ngakula's punishment for giving ANC members a lift to Zimbabwe on a Defence Force jet last month. President Sir Ramaphosa says the minister didn't act in the best interest of good governance. Democratic Alliance MP Gwabas Murray joins me now to discuss this matter. Gwabas, thanks a lot for joining us uh, this evening. I mean, when we look at the situation as far well, as well as the results that have come as uh, President Sir Ramaphosa saying that indeed Defence Minister did not act as uh, in good governance, what do you make of this uh, three-month salary docking? Do you think that it is enough to make an example out of what a good leader should do in the South African context? Uh, good evening, Faith. Good evening to your viewers. No, most certainly not. Um, you know, we have uh, driven this issue very hard because we believe in accountability and that everybody is as equal before the law. So for us in the DA, it was just unacceptable, first of all, that the president has taken so long to respond. Um, you know, it's been a week since he requested the report from the minister. Um, and, you know, to come out last night and then only slap her on the wrist and uh, say it was a judge it was an error judgment of error uh, i mean that is just ludicrous it is just unacceptable it's actually an, in, an insult to us as taxpayers because we know that this minister this was not the first time that she has done this uh, she was also involved uh, uh, and was basically um, uh, smuggling a, a lady friend of her a late son uh, into south africa via also uh, Air Force Base Waterkloof on board the um, VVIP jet. So this is not the first time that she has done this. And uh, clearly from what the president has stated in his statement, that she has clearly violated the oath of office, code of ethics, uh, and in any other organization, or, or maybe the most other governments, a minister would have taken the, uh, the honorable uh, route and, and resigned or the president would have uh, either suspended such a person or would have replaced her or removed her to, to another portfolio. Yeah. In well, this just case, it seems there, like... For, just for the sake of time, what would you like to see happen as the Democratic Alliance? What is the uh, punishment that you deem fit for such an act? Well, you know, I mean, I think we believe that the president has got no other option as to but to replace her. Uh, I mean, she's a lovely lady. I get along with her very well. But this is about principles and about ethics and about complying with everything that is uh, that is um, sacred for members of parliament and for the executive supposed to be. So, so unfortunately, what the president should be doing is to replace her with immediate effect or at least suspend her until all the investigations uh, are completed. But, I mean, it's an indictment against her. It's an indictment against the president himself. And we believe he should act uh, decisively and very quickly. Yeah. Will you be following up to ensure that, indeed, what you have mentioned and proposed as a, a fit order in terms of exactly the repercussions of some of these actions that were undertaken by the defense minister? So will you then be following up to ensure that this gets done? Or what happens when the president says, actually, I've made my decision, we're going to dock the three months uh, salary, and the matter is now officially closed? Well, it cannot, it cannot be officially closed. I mean, myself, I myself have laid criminal charges against all, everybody that was on board that flight. So that is a, a subject of a criminal investigation. Um, it is most certainly uh, seems like in terms of what the president has now revealed to us, a subject for the, for the Ethics Committee of Parliament against the minister. And then we know that the public protector has also started an investigation into this matter. So even if the president wants to close this off, it's just not within his powers to close it off. And I think it's, it's also his reputation and the credibility of his, his office and that of South Africa that is at stake. So the president must maybe think beyond his own interest and that of his party and think of our constitution and our country and our defense force. Um, all of these are at stake. And I think that the president has got no choice but to act immediately. Mr. Murray, we'll leave it there for this evening. Thanks a lot for joining us. Mr. Gwabas Murray is the shadow minister of defense of the Democratic Alliance.